Welcome everyone. My name is Thibaut Schrepel. I'm a faculty associate at Stanford University Codex Center and an assistant professor at Utrecht School of Law. With this video, I want to talk about something very, very basic. What's the meaning of the word antitrust in the context of blockchain? So let me start with the beginning. You may know about antitrust law because of this guy. Here's John Sherman, the Hawaii senator who redacted the Sherman Act. What he meant at the time, and what we mean today, is antitrust in the sense of trustees. Truly, the name is misleading as the Sherman Act does not sanction trust for their sole existence. No, really, it should be antitrust abuses, those abuses being cartels and monopolization. Well, blockchain is forcing antitrust also to become antitrust in the sense of confidence, interpersonal trust. More specifically, it is leading antitrust to become anti-interpersonal trust abuses. Let me explain why. Blockchain is a trust machine. Despite the absence of a centralized authority, one can trust that blockchain ledgers are saying the truth. A Bitcoin has been transferred, a smart contract has been recorded, and so on. That is changing the way companies and governments operate. That is leading to an estimated increase of 7% in world trade by 2026. And that is excellent. The problem is that trust is also the key ingredient for collusion when several companies agree on their market behaviors. That trust leading to collusion can be divided into two separate elements, one social, the other economic. The social element of collusion relates to the idea that colluders must trust each other, that they won't go to an antitrust agency and apply for leniency. The economic element encapsulates the fact that colluders must have an economic interest, all individually, in staying in the cartel. Well, blockchain can help on both fronts, especially when combined with smart contracts. Here's why. Anti-competitive collusion are illegal by nature. They can't be enforced before a court or an agency. That is true regardless of the medium used for implementing collusion, be it a meeting in a smoky room or a blockchain. That being said, smart contracts are made out of code, a code that is automatically enforced. In that sense, it creates trust between colluders. They know that the code will set prices, punish deviation, calculates the best economic outcome, and so on. To be sure, it won't be perfect, as human disagreement between colluders will lead all collusion to end, one day or another. Yes, but, while they are going on, collusion will be more effective because of the social and economic trust that blockchain creates in this illegal behavior. In short, not all trust is good. I know, it's a weird thing to say in today's society where we lack trust so much. Still, we, as a society, must identify ways to keep good trust and to get rid of the bad one. And here, trust me, we need antitrust.